Welcome to this video in which we will be designing this stair by using the sheet metal and weldments commands and if you want to learn more about sheet metal and weldments then you can find the link of those tutorial in the description. So let's begin. First select file, click on new, select part and then click ok. Change the background to plain white and then select this front plane click on sketch and first we are going to make a line so select line and make this horizontal line then this inclined line and this vertical line press the escape button now select this smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point define the vertical distance as 1000 millimeter and from this point to this point again Define the horizontal distance as 1060. And now select this line and this line. And here specify the angle as 135 degree. Now we are only left with this dimension. So select this line and make the dimension as 200 millimeter. Now the sketch is fully defined. Check this box here and now simply exit the sketch. Go to weldments. In case you do not have the weldments, just click here and in this tab option, find the weldments. Check this box and the weldments will be appeared. Select the structural member here, specify ISO for the standard and select here C channel for the type and for size, select this one. And then in the group window, select all of these three lines one by one. First, this second line and this third line. And now we have to define some degree here. Let me show you. Define here 45 degree. Mm, it's not good. So let's define here 90 degree. Okay, so now it's proper shape. Check this box here. And now we have to mirror the same feature for that we have to make a plane so go to features in reference geometry select the plane here and select this plane side of the C channel and here define 300 for the distance and a plane will be created check this box here now select the mirror command and in this window this plane has been selected and we have to select the bodies to mirror we have nothing to do for features to mirror so select your bodies to mirror and by one by one select these bodies one two and this third one so this structure has been mirrored now hide this plane as we have nothing to do with this plane anymore and now we have to make the step for the stairs for that select this face and click on sketch select the line here and from this point to this point make a horizontal line then make a vertical line like this press the escape button now select the line again and from this point to this point make a vertical line again now let's define it for that select the smart dimension tool from this point to this point where there is no line specify the dimension as 50 millimeter and se select this line and specify the length of this line as 150 millimeter and now we have to specify the height of this line so specify the height of this line as 15 and now finally select this line and specify the height of this line as 40 millimeter okay now we have to select the sheet metal so in case you do not have sheet metal you can select it from here now go to sheet metal select this base flange option and here we need to specify some parameters in this direction one select here up to surface option and which surface let me show you in this window we have to select this surface and here you can see the step has been created Simply check the box 
and now select this edge flange in sheet metal in this window select this line rotate it again click on this window and select this edge and now we have to specify the height of these lines so in the downward direction make sure this is at 90 degree and in this blind option for the direction specify here 40 millimeter for the length of these plates let me show you these plates have been created okay simply check this box and for these steps this plate has been created okay so now we have to create multiple lines for that we have to select this linear pattern command in this uh, we have to specify some parameters okay for for this bodies option select this body and here you need to specify the number of steps I'm specifying here seven and the distance between each step is 200 millimeter so specify a 200 millimeter and in this direction one select this inclined edge okay. so the steps had been created but these are in upward direction in order to make these in downward direction just click here and here you can see the stair has been defined and created and now we are only left with the railings but before that let's define the appearance here you can define any color or any appearance and now we have to make a plane for in reference geometry select the plane and here select this side of the C channel and then rotate it and see very carefully select this upper side of the C channel this one okay and a plane will be created at the mid of these channel so simply check the box and now we have to make a sketch on this plane so right click here and you can right click here and click on sketch now reorient select the line and make a sketch so select this point and make a vertical line make sure this is at 90 degree select the line again and here make the 90 degree line again press the escape button select the line again and finally make the third line make sure this is at 90 degree and then press the escape button now select this line press the control button on your keyboard select this line and make relation as equal and now let's specify the height of this line as 700 millimeter okay. now select the smart dimensioning tool and from this point to this point specify the distance as 100 okay and now select this line this line and here we have to specify the distance as 450 okay so this error has been occurred press ctrl z select the smart dimensioning tool select this point and this point of the lines and here we have to specify the distance between these lines as 450 millimeter and here it worked okay so now delete uh, delete this dimension select the smart dimension again and from this point to this point of these lines make that uh, uh, make the distance as 450 millimeter and here it worked okay so select the line again and from this point to this point make a line and here make an inclined line press the escape button and now we have to define some relations from this point press the control button to this point make relation as vertical 
and now zoom in select this point press the control button select this line and make relation as coincident similarly press the control button on your keyboard select this line select this line select this point and make the relation as coincident again this one okay and now select the smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point set the distance as 150 millimeter now select the line again and here trace the vertical point make a line like this and similarly make an inclined line press the control button select these two lines and make relation as parallel and now select this point and this point make relation select these three points make relation as vertical now select the smart dimensioning tool from this line to this line set the distance as 350 now we have to make another relation select this point and this point make relation as vertical exit the sketch now go to weldments select this structural member specify your ISO for the standard and for type select your pipe and define the size this one and in this group select this line and this line it will take some time now click on new group select this line and this line select new group and now select these three lines and then check this box so here we're gonna have a problem so right click on this plane and click on hide so here we have a problem this pipe is not properly connected so first uh, hide the sketch so now let me show you how to make this properly so for that uh, select this extend trim extend option in this window select this pipe and this pipe and in this very window select this upper surface of the c channel this one and here you can see now they are mounted on the c channel properly this profile is now proper and now we simply have to mirror this pipe for that we have to make a plane in the reference geometry so select this surface of the c channel and this surface of the C channel and make a plane in between them and now select the mirror in features so select the mirror command we have to select this plane here in this window and in this bodies to mirror select all of these pipes one by one and then check this box and now simply hide this plane and here you can see the stair design has been completed so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you